Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and it's time for another donation unboxing video. This is an unboxing video for everything that I received in the P.O. box in the month of December 2019. And we've got a few things here. We have a box and we have several envelopes. Um, so I want to remind everyone, um, you can send things to me, you can donate uh, things to the channel, or send me letters that some people have. Um, and um, uh, there's a P.O. box I have for that. It will appear on your screen right now. Um, I also want to remind everyone, as I do every time, that you do not have to send anything to me. Uh, I appreciate just having you here watching the videos, okay? I don't want anyone to feel obligated to send anything to me at all. Um, in fact, I want to be very careful about taking too much from you. Um, you guys have been very generous but I don't feel like you owe me anything. If anything, I owe you. You are the reason this show exists. Without you, I would literally be talking to myself, which would be weird. But um, I just want everyone to understand, I want to be very clear, that if you have any reservations about donating something to the channel, then please don't do it. I would rather uh, have you um, maintain your respect for the channel than for you to feel like you've donated something to the channel and it didn't go to a good place and, and uh, it wasn't, um, I didn't deserve to have that donation. So if you in any way feel that way, please don't send anything. Now, it may seem a little bit weird that I have a P.O. box and then I discourage people from sending anything to it, but I just want to be clear, um, I, uh, I appreciate everything that everyone has done for me and for this channel, and the donations have been extremely generous, um, but um, I, uh, I want everyone to understand that you don't have to do that in order for me to appreciate you. I, I, I just really am glad that you're here. And I hope you'll stay with us, and you'll, I hope you will continue on this collecting journey with me and with the rest of us. And that, that's really the important thing. If you do want to send something, though, I'll do a video like this where I open it up, and we can all say, see uh, what you send. And I can say thank you uh, for what you do. So here's what we got, and let's tear into this stuff and see what we got in December. All right, I am going to start with... Uh, this because I just got it today um, and this came in uh, from Byron Kellogg. Byron is uh, a longtime friend of the channel and a friend of me uh, and I, I, just, I appreciate him a lot. He has uh, really been supportive in a lot of ways for a long time. So uh, thank you Byron uh, for all of your support and, uh, and he sends something here so let's um, actually know what it is because he told me what it was going to be. Um, this is, uh, let me zoom it in, this is Tiger Force Frostbite, okay? Now you may be thinking, if you follow me on the Facebook and the Twitter, that I already have Tiger Force uh, Frostbite. But wait, Tiger Force Frostbite um, has a variation. He has um, uh, some of his uh, figures, the eyes and eyebrows are a different color, and um, keen-eyed uh, Byron spotted that I only had one of the variants of Frostbite, and so he sent me the other one. So now I have uh, Frostbite with the, the variation on his uh, eyebrows and his eyes. Very thoughtful, very thoughtful Byron. Um, you know, he... Uh, he saw a need and he filled a need. So uh, thank you. That's really cool. Uh, and again, once uh, Byron, uh, thank you so much for your support. Um, so uh, I will be including that uh, when I eventually review the Tiger Force, Tiger T Cat, and uh, version 2 of Frostbite. All right, I am going next with this uh, from uh, Tim Bentley. Uh, Tim Bentley has also been a friend of the channel for a while, and Tim's a really nice guy, so hello Tim. Uh, and I believe uh, from peeking inside, um, I, I, by the way, I've already cut everything open here so it's easier for me to open it up on camera, although I haven't looked inside to see what any of it is. Um, this uh, is 
a card, and it is a Christmas card. Um, Merry Christmas. May your joys be delightful. Your blessings be many. Uh, may your merry, uh, may your Christmas this year be uh, the nicest of any. And he has a nice uh, Merry Christmas message here uh, from your friend Timothy Bentley. Uh, thank you very much, Timothy. I'm sorry. I've got to show show people the card. Um, and I'm sorry I didn't get to this uh, before Christmas, but it's not too long after Christmas. Uh, but very thoughtful. Uh, thank you very much. And also thank you for just being a cool guy. Uh, Tim also does uh, cosplay. Uh, so, you know, you got to check out his cosplay. He does some cool G.I. Joe costumes. So uh, awesome. Thank you very much for this. Um, and, and thanks for just uh, all that you do. Okay, we have a letter from the UK, and I absolutely do need to put on my glasses for this. Um, and this, uh, this looks familiar. I believe uh, we have gotten these letters before, and I'm always happy to get them. How many pages are we looking at here? So um, this is a longer letter, and it's going to take me a bit uh, to read, so I am going to uh, pause the video just for a second uh, so that I can read this. Um, usually on these longer letters, I do that. Um, I uh, didn't always do that. Uh, I used to just start reading, but then I discovered that sometimes there were, was content in the letter that the writer didn't necessarily want me to read out loud. So, uh, so now I will read the letter and um, I will um, I'll uh, get back with you after I'm done uh, reading it. Okay, I've gone through this letter from Gary Watson. Thank you, Gary. I, I knew who it was. He had sent uh, letters uh, like this before. So it's really cool uh, to get uh, actual letters in the mail with a stamp uh, from the UK. So uh, thank you, Gary. Um, and uh, he, he gives some information about um, Action Force, which uh, is, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of Action Force. Um, I did a review of Action Force with uh, Cyber Tiger, uh, another good friend from the UK. Uh, that video was a lot of fun. I love working with Cyber Tiger. Um, and uh, Cyber Tiger actually sent me some of the uh, comic books that, that you're referring to here, uh, Gary. So I have actually had a chance to uh, read some of them. Uh, and then some of the others, uh, it talks about uh, Battle Action Force um, and. Uh, just some differences between uh, the U.S. version of certain characters versus how they were portrayed uh, in Action Force. And uh, some scans of Battle Action Force you can find on bloodforthebaron.com. Hey, there's a website for you. I don't mention that enough. Bloodforthebaron.com is an excellent resource if you want to find out about Action Force. Um, and for those who don't know, Action Force uh, was the UK version of G.I. Joe um, until it eventually just uh, was called G.I. Joe. Before that, um, it was called Action Force, and it has its own unique and very rich history. Um, and I'm very interested in that history. Um, and uh, uh, so, where is it? In this letter, um, Gary uh, talks about. Um, some of the uh, well, he, here he's talking about um, Leatherneck and how Leatherneck was uh, was different, um, uh, changed from American to German. Leatherneck, uh, German, and Action Force, and um, some of the other birthplaces were changed as well. But he also talks about the different names for certain vehicles, like the whale was simply called the hovercraft. And uh, the shark was renamed uh, Flying Submarine. Uh, yeah, and I've seen some of the you, the uh, Action Force versions of those American vehicles, and they are a lot of them are amazing, and they're really fascinating variations on some familiar vehicles that we got in the states. And as as you know, I've limited my collection to U.S. released uh, GI Joe toys. But every, often when I see some of these Action Force variations, um, I think uh, that, man, I really would like to get them. But, 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 you know, I'm keeping within the scope of my collection, right? This is, this is how, you know, I, I keep some, some self-discipline and self-control because if I start 
buying, you know, foreign released, international released uh, vehicles and figures, where does it stop? Because there's so many, there's so much cool stuff. There's so much cool stuff that I could fill my house from floor to ceiling in every room with just the most amazing stuff. Um, and I, I, I think I would be kicked out of my house if I did that. Um, but I, I, there's no denying that it's, it's really cool uh, to look at. Um, and it, I I'm, uh, always enjoy learning about it. Um, and on the occasions that I've actually been able to see the stuff in person, man, I just, it makes me want it so bad, so bad. Um, but um, UK fans, uh, you have some really awesome stuff in Action Force. Um, and, uh, and Gary has uh, laid out a lot of that here, um, in, including just some, some peculiarities and, and some different nationalities uh, for different characters here. Um, so like uh, Airborne version 1, I guess, was from Naples and uh, Blowtorch. Uh, from Toulouse, France, uh, Breaker from Munich, West Germany. So, yeah, um, their action force, it had a lot of the same guys, right, that we remember, but it was a truly international team. Uh, so their backstories and their backgrounds were all different. Um, and I, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Now, I love my G.I. Joe, right? I love my uh, American version of G.I. Joe, um, and I wouldn't replace it with anything. But, um, but I am interested in just how different, um, uh, different countries um, made little changes here and there that, um, that made them more interesting to children in that culture. Um, and that is, I think, a really fascinating, a fascinating um, aspect of G.I. Joe that a lot of American fans don't necessarily uh, look into. So uh, anyway, I, I love the letter. Thank you, Gary. Uh, and thank you for the other letters that you sent. Now, um, Gary's uh, letter, along with Tim's card, uh, will go in my fan mail folder that was made by a fan. Uh, even though I, I don't call you guys fans, right? I don't consider you guys to be fans of me. Um, I, I think you're probably fans of G.I. Joe. Um, and what I try to do is to, I, you know, I don't consider myself better than anyone just because I, I'm on this side of the camera. There are a lot of you guys out there that are, uh, that are more knowledgeable, more experienced at collecting uh, than I am. And, um, you know, I, I just really enjoy, you know, learning from people who have been doing this longer. Um, so uh, I tend to refer to you, if you're viewing the video, I refer to you as a viewer rather than a fan, um, except, of course, a, a fan of G.I. Joe. So uh, I'm also a fan. I'm basically, I'm, I'm, I'm just you, I just happen to be on this side of the camera. So uh, thanks, but even so, thanks for the fan mail. I appreciate that. So I am keeping everything that you guys sent to me. I've got another really full envelope of just really nice letters and stuff that you guys have sent to me. I'm not throwing any of that away. I'm keeping every single one of it and I'm gonna keep it forever. Um, so now let's move on. We got one more envelope to do and then we have a box. Uh, so let's see what's next. Jason Karist sends an envelope. I have cut it open already. Um, I don't see a letter in there, but I see uh, something wrapped in uh, bubble wrap. And let's see if I can peel the tape off or if I'm gonna have to cut it. Let's see. Oh, I can peel it. Okay, I can peel it so I don't have to cut the tape. And uh, let's see. That's, oh, oh wait, wait, I don't know what this is. Hey, that's cool. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see this. Um, I'll, take, I'll, I'll take it out. Um, it, this is, these are the accessories for, um, yeah, Slaughter's Marauders Footloose. Slaughter's Marauders Footloose. So check this out. It, uh, Footloose backpack in black. Footloose uh, helmet 
in in black. Well, you can't see that very well, but to take my word for it, it's Footloose's helmet in black, and of course it has his um, his M16 and his um, uh, his anti-tank weapon, and um, of course these were black originally, but still the point is is that um, I didn't have these. So this is another thing that I can check off the list. And, you know, everything like this that helps me complete something uh, in the vintage line, it just gets me that much closer to being ready to review it. And that's a thrill for me. So thank you, Jason. Thank you for this. This is a big help. And finally, the box. This is from Brandon Knight. Brandon has sent a lot of stuff. Uh, and so, and Brandon has been a, a friend of the channel for quite some time and has supported the channel uh, uh, very strongly for a long time. So thank you, Brandon. I always thank Brandon because Brandon deserves all the thanks. Um, but he sent us another box. And, you know, again, Brandon, if you, uh, you know, you don't have to send stuff to me, uh, uh, but the fact that you do, I just want you to know that, uh, that it means a lot to me. So thank you, Brandon. Um, so I'm going to open this up. I have cut the tape, so let's see what it is. Um, we have, oh, we got another flap here. There we go. Got it. Uh, we have some bubble wrap. Always good to uh, carefully pack things so it doesn't get damaged in shipping. Uh, we have a letter for which I will uh, need my glasses. This is not a long letter, so I think I can read this aloud. Uh, it says, Dear HCC788, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Let's start the new year with new adventures. I uh, hope we can keep growing our community and making new friends along the way. That is what it's about. Uh, thanks for all your help in making your show a fun place where all are welcome. Uh, to help you once more, I put together this package, uh, some items to help for future reviews. Thought these could help add color and flair to the shows and reviews. Hope you enjoy these items uh, and help out. Uh, I know I don't have to do this, I just said that, uh, but you uh, help me in many ways. It's nice to do things for friends and show how important uh, their friendship is. So th thank you, Brandon, that's, that's very nice. Uh, thank you. I uh, hope to see you and our community at Joe Fest 2020. Yes, Joe Fest in Augusta, Georgia, um, at the end of June this year. Uh, I will be, as we get closer to that, I will be promoting that more because I will be there and I hope to meet you there. Um, <clears throat> keep up the good work and never give up, never surrender. Uh, if you ever want help for future reviews or your website, hit me up. I always like to help. Um, well, until next time, remember G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe and uh, 90, 90 degrees angle. Yes, let's not for, forget the let's not forget the articulation. Um, so thank you, Brandon, for that. And um, now that I've moved the letter out of the way, I can see what's in the box. I guess I'll show you what's in the box. Um, so check this out. I see it and I automatically think this is amazing. All right. This is it's a T-shirt. And it's, it's um, the uh, Baron Ironblood, uh, Red Shadows, the, uh, the skull. I, I have to open it. Hold on. This, we were just talking about Action Force, right? We were just talking about Action Force. Well, this, Susan will dig this, all right? Because Susan kind of likes this, too. Check that out. Check that out. Oh, that's so cool. And I can wear this in a review. I need more, like I usually wear a t-shirt for reviews. I need more of these. I need more uh, t-shirts that I can like wear on the screen. That is awesome. And there are more. I'm going to set this here because I have more to dig out. Look at this. Look at this. Not, um, is it upside down? It's the Dreadnoughts. <laughs> Look at that. It's the, oh my gosh. Hold on. Here's another one. Here's another one. This is like the classic, the classic G.I. Joe. How many are there in here? There's another one. There's an, hold on. Oh my, there are two more. What's this one? What's this one? Hold on, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at that. It's got like vehicles, like all the vehicle art from the 80s. Yeah, APC. Ram motorcycle, 
a stinger. Oh, there's Cobra Command. There's Cobra Commander right there. That's fantastic. And there's oh, there's one more. And there's one more. And it looks like this is the the classic. The classic. The classic real American hero GI Joe. Uh, logo that is awesome that actually does help out really good you know what I'm gonna pause the video right now um, because I need to change shirts and that's everything uh, thank you to everyone who who sent stuff uh, this month um, as I always say um, you don't have to send anything to me uh, if we don't get anything for the month of January then I just won't do uh, a review like this or a video like this for February and that's absolutely fine uh, but if I do get anything from you guys I'll do something like this I'll open it up and I'll show everyone what we got uh, but of course <clears throat> never feel like you have to send anything I am really happy just having you here um, if you did want to send something, the P.O. box again will be on the screen. Um, and uh, we're going to have a, a really good year in 2020. Uh, I ha already have some plans that I really hope you're going to enjoy. Uh, and we're going to be working really hard to, um, to sh bring you some stuff that's fun to watch. I, I really hope you will enjoy what we've got coming up. So uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you everyone um and we'll see you soon uh the first review of um 2020 should go up on the second sunday of the month so um i hope you like it uh, and until then of course remember that um only gi joe is gi joe and blood for the baron